your toenail should only be about an eighth of an inch over the attachment point. That's how long the free edge of your nail should be. This really hard stuff is compacted skin cells, soap bubbles from shampoo running down your body and... All right, we'll start on this, but you can straighten it all the way out. Do you have any Mother's Day plans? Um, dinner with my daughter because she's turning 21. All in one. Does she still live at home or is she no. on her own? Yep. You can bend. How long have you been watching that channel? Oh my goodness. Um, probably two years. Oh wow. That's great. First. We will get your toenails fixed right up. Yeah, I see when you can make them grow normal. Yep. I just thought this was something I was just going to have to have for the rest of my life. The number one thing, especially when smaller toenails start to do this, is to keep the length trimmed just above the attachment point. So you have to cut them like every four weeks on a regular basis um, or when they hang over that free edge, they'll start to pinch in again. So we need to get your nail walls to move back out to normal position, which they will. Um, I've had clients in this week who drive from Indiana and Wisconsin to come and see me with similar problems and their toenails are almost completely normal now. How long does it take for that? Um, the little toenails only take about four months. Oh wow. Yeah. Big toenails, depending on how far down they start to pinch, will take longer, but you'll start to notice a difference within the same amount of time, four to five months. Crazy to believe how excited I've been about this. <laughs> Well, I always get excited too, because I love to see the transformations and I love to make people happy <laughs> and feel better. I'm a bartender. I'm on my feet all the time. So sometimes they just hurt so bad. Oh yeah. gel polish yeah she told me to get a bottle of alcohol and just constantly spray my feet with it for what reason she said that it would help <laughs> yeah that if your toenails are already curling it's just gonna dehydrate them even more Yeah, so every time I get out of the shower, I spray my feet. Yeah, don't do that anymore. Yeah. You don't need to do that.
a lot of people say, oh, for an ingrown toenail, you cut a V and then it relieves the pressure on the sides. And I always tell people, if you have enough room on your toenail to cut a V, your toenails are too long. We'll clean out from underneath here a little bit, make sure the attachment point doesn't go down further than what I can visually see. You can see this color change here. Mm -hmm. Your toenail should only be about an eighth of an inch over the attachment point. That's how long the free edge of your nail should be. Hmm. And if they're, you know, digging in too far, you can, the curve of the nail. This is why I tell people, um, you know, they say, why do you use nail uh, nippers instead of clippers? Well. Clippers don't fit on toenails that are curved. No. <laughs> at all. Not at all. So, I have those same things at home. <laughs> yeah. And then they say, well, why don't you use bigger ones? And I'm like, well, because when you insert it underneath the nail, that's as far as it goes. It hits the nail because the nail curves. So if you have a bigger nipper, you're only using the tip of it at all times. Mm -hmm. So it's useless to have a bigger, bigger nipper. And don't listen to any posts or articles that you see that say that longer toenails are fashionable or in style. That is not true. They're, they will only create a crisis in everyone <laughs> wearing long toenails. When I see, it's because I hate my feet so much that when I see people's nice feet, I'm like, oh my gosh. I have nice feet. So these deep grooves will start to relax and move position. Before you leave today, remind me to show you a picture. I did a before and after picture of a client whose pinch came all the way to the center Ooh. here, and now it's completely back over here. Oh, that had to be so painful. Yeah, it was. She was very uncomfortable. thought if I cut them so short that they would it would hurt growing more out into my skin like dig down into my skin more yeah nope it won't that's gonna soak again I wouldn't tell you it would be possible if I haven't seen it over and over and over again with people with similar toes. Mm -hmm. So what she was doing was just trying to make it mask the problem and make it look prettier. Mm-hmm. We want your toe to be healthy and then you can wear polish all you want because they'll grow normally. Mm-hmm. And like, can you feel how the resistance I'm getting right here? Yes. There's a bunch of buildup down in there that I won't be able to get until they soak a little bit more. All right, you can straighten all the way out. We're gonna file the bottoms of your feet. Have you been doing that a long time? Yeah. I used to be a bartender. 
in college. <laughs> yeah, my brother-in-law owns it. Nice family business. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he depends on you. I would, I would like to think so. <laughs> How often do you change your work shoes? Not very often. It's hard for me to find comfortable ones. So when I find a comfortable pair, I wear them out. <laughs> Maybe get a new pair and make sure that there's enough room in the toe box that your feet aren't getting squeezed like this too. My duck feet. Because <laughs> when your toenails, if they get like moist, Mm -hmm. And then you squish them, the toenails will bend, and then they'll stay in place when you take your foot out of the shoe and then they dry. Mm -hmm. So you just want to make sure that they have as much room as possible to where they're not being squeezed or pushed on. How many kids do you have? I have two sons, 20 and 17. Very many teenagers. Oh my goodness, no. So. I feel so sorry for them. That's the only thing to do. Mm -hmm. And um, they're having a hard time finding anything else. No, it will get better. Mm -hmm. Everybody just needs a goal, needs a, a, you know, something to do, hobby. Yes. <laughs> Done for you, and I'm like, well, when the restaurant is to stay in business. I'm more of a homebody anyways. So when I get out of work, because I'm in the social, the, you know what I mean? Network. Yes, yes, yes. Then so you are. Home, you... We have like no neighbors or anything. So it's, I have a pond out there. And oh, yay. A little paddle pontoon boat. I always tell him, you know, we don't need to go camping or anything. So right. We have our own little Put a tent in the backyard, here. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like people that live in apartments and stuff like that. that yeah. They have to oh, be so hard. It's gotta be so hard. <laughs> Man, thank God we have a pool table. We have played so much pool. <laughs> oh, I bet you're really good. No, we're not bad. He's, he's great. He's an excellent shot. <laughs> he ain't gonna get that ball. Oh ah. my goodness. He's like, okay, I'm this, 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 and it goes. So he has just stayed good. I've just gotten better. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Bruce and I used to go play pool a lot, and we do have a pool table at home, but we don't play very often at home. I always say the pool is my happy place. In the wintertime, it's my pool table, and in the summertime, it's my pool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
today I want you guys to tell me what your favorite tool that I use is. Tell me in the comments. This feel okay? Mm -hmm. So all of this stuff that was stuck underneath your nail is pressing your skin down. And when it presses your skin in that location down, it pushes your skin up in other places. So by allowing the skin underneath to come back up, then this skin is going to go down a little. And then when you start using this product called Nail Mycosis, it's going to moisturize your toenail and it's going to relax it a little. And then your toenail will grow. Your toenail, this is called a sidewall or a nail groove. It should be like this on both sides. And then your toenail will come back into that position. So I really was doing bad by putting spraying them with alcohol. Well, you didn't know. Didn't know. Well, it almost seems like a common sense thing. It's like physics. All right, we're going to file the bottom of that foot. Huge difference. Yeah. Are you beat? <laughs> uh, yeah. I hear some of the girls like, oh my gosh, how can we stand listening to that? The girls would be like, you just care too much. I'm like, oh my oh, gosh. You can't care too much. We'll train as a bartender. Mm hmm. And some of them we bet, and better than some of the other ones. But the ones that can actually be personable. Right. And actually not anything like on the floor. So you spend a lot more time mm -hmm. with individuals. a hairdresser. She was going to school to be a Ben was working also at a daycare. Aww. And that was not in I can't do it anymore. So she switched to be a hairdresser. But in an office setting or something that not with with people, she wouldn't she wouldn't thrive. It would make her crazy. Because she's such a piece. Oh. Yeah. All they do is talk about themselves and how wonderful they are. Mm. <laughs> it's not about you, it's about the client. <laughs>
I thought this would be painful in there. I, you've not hurt me not once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't hurt you, hurt people. I've had a couple of really sensitive people that are so nervous that they're like, <gasps> and I'm oh. like, did that hurt? And they're like, well, no, but <laughs> like it more scares them than the anticipation. Yes, yeah, like they've been hurt before. Jesus, I've hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all dead skin or what is all this? This really hard stuff is compacted skin cells, soap bubbles from shampoo running down your body and getting down into the grooves, perspiration, little combination of stuff. Mm. It didn't sound very good. <laughs> but see, now you can see this is where your attachment point goes down a little bit. So you mm -hmm. couldn't even see that before because you could only see the one solid color. Now there's space. Do you have one of these at home? Sidewall cleaner? No. I have one that looks more pointed, like an arrow almost. Oh yeah, that one could be a little dangerous when you're cleaning underneath these toenails that have big curves. I'll give you one of these today. I have one of those little foot soaker things at home. Mm -hmm. How often should I use that? Um, like every four to six weeks. Sometimes my feet just kill me and I just want to put the Epsom salt in there and just soak them. Yeah, forever. just soak them. You had a lot of stress in the arches of your feet when I was doing the massage. Did you feel those little crunchies? Mm -hmm. So soaking in Epsom salt would help.